we are cooking the ground beef and the chorizo. And then we got the bacon already ready. Just waiting for the oven to heat up. Yeah, no. We are getting ready to cut up the Vidalia onion and the uh, habanero peppers. Is that what these are? Or jalapeno? Well, jalapeno. Jalapeno. Alright, so here is the meat. We're about ready to put it in the pot. We gotta finish washing the pot and stuff and get that all ready. Here is the steak we're putting in. Those are the beans we're putting in. We'll put some of the little beef smokies in there. Some of that uh, better than bullion sauce. Got the onions all chopped up. Getting ready to start on the peppers. I think we got some more peppers in here. Yeah, we're going to put all those peppers in there too. All right, so a little tip for you guys. So I don't really feel like cutting up all these peppers real thin like I did over there. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut off both ends of the pepper, the front and the tip of the pepper, and we're going to shove it in a blender. And that's going to happen. And it's going to be phenomenal. All right, so we got the steak cubed up. We got the beef in there putting some garlic in the vegetables onions a lot of peppers that's what happens to the peppers when you uh, put them in the blender add a little water in there it makes your life easier we got the bacon all crisp up a little couple of burnt pieces we'll take those off so uh, and now it's about time to cut the smokies all right here's our bacon I'm <coughs> sorry this ate a piece of bacon I'm getting ready to cut this up, throw it in the pot. Here's our vegetables, we're letting it simmer. Just about done. Here we go. Oh, for real, no, this guy drives, or rides his bike every day, like 20 miles. But okay, back to the chili. Pour in the red sauce in the chili. We just put this salsa in the chili. This salsa is phenom. It's gonna be a little spicy chili. Just a little spicy, not too bad. We cut the little smokies in half. I don't know if you can see them. Little smokies in half. Look at that though. We're not even not even close to done with this chili. And it already looks like good to eat. All right, we'll get back with you guys later. All right, so it is about, whoa, that's hot. So it is about two hours in. I'm getting water everywhere there and this is what the chili looks like it is a tad thin right now but I'm pretty sure all of this will cook out oh man it smells so good too bad we don't have to smell a vision yep and that is the consistency of it right now we got it on a like a simmer low low simmer it's it's hot it's real hot earlier I kind of messed up and I uh, had it on about four and a half, and it was hot, hot, like way too hot. Hopefully that doesn't make mess up the chili so far. That's our tasting spoon, and it tastes amazing. Let's put this back on here. All right, guys, so we forgot some stuff. We are currently in the race car. containers uh, we need the cheese so we can top our amazing chili with cheese, cheese. <laughs> and we need the egg because we're gonna make some cornbread too to go with the chili and then uh, the next video I'll send you guys a pro hopefully be us eating the chili finally after all day of cooking the chili and um, watching some Monday night football all right we'll be back soon I've been trying this chili the whole time, and now it is Mr. Tyler's time. So he's gonna try the chili. Let's check this stuff out. I thought it was a little liquidy. It looks a little liquidy. It does look a little liquidy in there? Let's get a little. It's getting dark. I think it's gonna be a little spicy. Yeah, it does look like a good chili. That's for sure. All right, let's go ahead and try that out. What do you think? Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing? Awesome.
<laughs> it needs some stuff. Take this right here. Boom! <laughs> Put it right in there. So that was definitely potatoes. Instant potatoes. <laughs> for a shot for a homie. <laughs> for a shot. And that was definitely bourbon that we have added to our chili. Right, we're just gonna mix it all. We're gonna mix all this, and then we will be. Whoa, man, that was a lot of bourbon. I can smell that from here. And we will be back with you guys shortly. Oh, yes. All right, guys. And this is the final product. The chili is finally going into the bowl. It's getting ready to get consumed. It's super thick. It is really thick. Like, amazing. Like, look. Like, there's a mound on one side and not on the other side. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be so good. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. I'll probably put an update in the video on how the chili was. Oh, yeah. Hold on. And we got some Mexican cheese. And we got a pumpkin pie. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, look at this. Thanks, Kroger, for putting your pumpkin pie sideways so I have to let it de thaw before I put it in the oven. Thanks. All right, thanks, you guys. Have a good day.